Yo, can you wait? Oh, okay. Okay. No. Okay, so E, you sent it to E now. <clears throat> I didn't send this. You sent it? Mm-hmm. A place of Zen. Hey y'all, a thing called life is happening. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get it. I think I did, but um, I I think it's the phone. Okay. I just need to turn off your wi turn off your Wi-Fi. Yeah, right. turn it off maybe. I hope I didn't send it to myself. Oh, it said address not found. It was me. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's my fault. Hold on. You're fine. Hey y'all. Here, you type it in to make sure it's all okay. Right. You pouring you up something, huh? You said what? I said you pouring you up something, huh? <laughs> oh, you said you didn't. You hit. You what you send? Okay, it should. Have, it should have done it. Oh, you knew the. What is a send? You hit copy paste though and send it to yourself. Oh, yeah. You didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. No. Oh, Lord. I thought it was already populated. Okay, so it's Tay A E E. Tay what? The at time. Uh -huh. A place of Zen. A P L A C E O F C E A dot com. Mm hmm. Okay. okay, so I should do it. And then just bring it here. And I just hold it. I'll turn this light down. Oh, I gotta go on my Facebook. <laughs> oh, so silly. Okay. All right, I'm ready when you are. You guys already got viewers. Let's see. I think people about popping in and out. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. There we go. Yes, we're lit now. Um, you want to hit the start button for me? This yeah. Oh, I was supposed to attach you, huh? No, it's okay. It doesn't you let can you do it. You can you want or just tag it now. This is so cute. Hmm. Look at this. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, well, I don't know how to work. Uh, no, you're good. Just keep it. Lives. Okay, fine. we're gonna leave it. All right, because this is for people to tune in. So, um, uh, okay. You already have some viewers. I <clears throat> don't yet, but I'm just gonna go ahead um, and start my usual. Make sure you can see yourself. Are you comfortable? Mm -hmm. You like mean. it? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Hey guys, look at this background. I'm not where I usually am. <laughs> this is so exciting. <laughs> 
She's just snatched up y'all. I am uh, not at my usual studio. I am at... Um, the, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm at the up. one and only... Now you can go ahead and say it. A place of zen. <laughs> a place of zen. Look how beautiful this is. Um, when we're done, you know, with our questions, I t I'm, I'm taking pictures in every room. Okay. <laughs> this place is so beautiful. Um, I just wanted to... Um, I'm, what am I saying here? I'm usually, look at me, I can't even believe that I'm not at, you know, my usual place. I'm like all off. Mm -hmm. But I am with a dear friend of mine, everybody. His name is Tay. Um, you are Rich East alumni. Yes, we are. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, That's how you forget, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I have my notes. I usually have them on my laptop, but I'm, I'm not at my studio. I'm here, so I'm making it work. Um, I'm just so happy that everyone that I've interviewed so far has been, you know, Richie's alumni. Our mm -hmm. school, unfortunately, did close down yeah. um, in 2020, mm -hmm. but everybody's been doing so good. You're doing amazing. You look amazing. Thank How do you, you feel? You. I feel good. And you look good, too. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to match. I tried to match. Yeah, I I'm loving that. it. I'm trying to match. Um, that's what I want to talk about. Um, in school, I didn't know that you were into hair. Mm -hmm. So when did all of this start? Let's try to. We're gonna so go let's, back. Let's let's go back in time. Yeah, we gotta go back in time. Actually, you probably didn't know this, but I was going to barber college while I was in high school. Really? And I was doing that. I want to say my sophomore year. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And then when did you end up getting the license? Well, because I knew I wanted to pursue cosmetology, okay. I didn't get that license because okay. I didn't have both licenses. Yeah, you have to have both. You do because um. Cosmetology, you can do everything except for using the uh, straight razor. razor on the skin. Is that the only mm -hmm. thing, though? The That's only the only difference? thing. That's why it That's didn't make crazy. sense for me yeah. to pay for both. both. For both, exactly. I mean, you can always do it now if you wanted to, but... Mm -hmm. Is that... Well, that's another question that I was going to try to jump into. Services. So, we are at a place of zen. This is the owner. Yes. Um, when did you... When did this place even come about? When did you open up? So... This all started back when COVID hit. Mm. We had to abruptly close in South Chicago Heights. Okay. Oh, so you already had a location already? So we were in South Chicago Heights originally. And that's when my mom started the nail salon. So okay. that's how it originated. Okay. So she had the nail salon while I actually was in high school. So um, I didn't kind of want to pursue that. That wasn't my thing. My the goal nails, at the time. Yeah. I, just wanted to, I just wanted to make some money <laughs> right exactly but the more i dove into it the more i realized that this is a part of my passion and this is what i was driven and made to do yeah so i want to say during those years you know you live in life i went off to college came back home from college um and when i came home from college that's when uh no not even when i came home i was returning my second semester okay of college so I finished the first returned for the second got on the phone with my mother and my mother she pretty much was like oh yeah I enrolled in cosmetology school now mind okay. you I poured out my heart and told her I didn't want to go off to college and that right I wanted to stay at home and I wanted to pursue cosmetology and she was like at least give it a try yeah at least, so yeah. I was like okay well at least I got my try in my bag yeah what school did and you I'm, go to I ended up going to John Amico okay and we actually me and my mom we started classes together and then she got her license too. Mm -hmm. Does mom work here? Yes, she does. She's oh my god, this is a fat. <laughs> yeah, better go ahead. Mm -hmm. You guys, he um, on, get, he basically honored me. I usually always say thank you for honoring or gracing the Margaret of Margaret Studio. Thank you for allowing me to grace a place of Zen. Thank you for um, reaching out to me. This place is amazing, and I definitely had to reach out because I saw your grand opening at this location. Um, you had the mayor here of mm -hmm. Homewood. We're in Homewood, just so you guys know. This location is in Homewood, Illinois. Um, he had the mayor here. You had a lot of important people. Who yeah. all were here for your grand to opening? To be honest, I still do not know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looked legit like when, when some I say, really important people. I didn't know that people were to, were going to come like they did. I know I did. Okay, get your sip in. <laughs> <laughs> the girls want to sell too. But I really didn't know... Um, and I'm still trying to do my research and figure out who these people are. And yeah, it's very hard to even, people. you know, 
figure out who's who. Right. But I appreciated everybody that came. Everybody was special to me. Um, everybody is mayor status in my Yeah, opinion. definitely. I love that. I love I love having support and love. You have the support and love on your end. I have the support and love on my end. And everybody watching here who is not familiar with the place of Zen, um, definitely kind of give them the backgrounds of, you know, services that you offer. Um, the, uh, your hiring, booth rent, all of yes. those things. You want to do a quick run through? Yeah, let's do a quick run through. So we actually have two estheticians that are starting coming up soon. Um, they officially be signing crown checks on the 18th. Okay. And we have two braiders that actually are starting too. Oh, you got braiders. Mm-hmm. Two braiders. braiders. So <laughs> they'll be in the braids. suites in the back. We have a total of seven suites. Okay. I have two available left for rent. Yeah, two available left for rent. Oh, two Lord Jesus, yeah. Two places, two uh, suites available. Two suites available wow. for rent. Rent for the suites are two fifty a week. Okay. Um, and I have a nail suite too, so I would like for y'all to see that. So he is looking for um, a nail tech, and then he has two suites available. But in those suites, do they have to be hairstylists, or can it be like, um, you know, people do the eyebrows, or what are you, no, what are you looking for? I'm, I'm, all things beauty. <laughs> all so things all beauty. things beauty. Um, as long as it matches the scope of a place it's in, which is a place to relax, tranquility, yeah. you know, those sort of things. As long as it matched that aesthetic, a lot like a juice lady, she was interested in renting a suite. Oh, so yeah, I love that. Just to give you some ideas of what we're thinking about doing, that would be awesome. Yeah, something like all around, something mm -hmm. all around it. That would be really nice because I know next door, um, you have like. A, this that isn't your place, but mm -hmm. right next door there's a gym, so you can literally come in here um, after working out, get your hair done, just zen mm -hmm. and relax. Maybe get the juice. That would be nice after a workout. Mm -hmm. um, I actually know somebody uh, who's trying to have her own juice. Oh, nice. Uh, we went to school with her too. Oh, wow. And she does a lot of gardening. I love it. Come on, I know. Yes, yes. All the entrepreneurs, so I love it. So that's why I want to make sure if you are watching and you're tuning in. <laughs> If you are an esthetician, if you're a nail tech, if you're um, a juicer, he's looking for anything that matches the massage zen. Therapist. Massage therapist. I would love to have a massage therapist. But I actually know difficult. someone too. Okay, let me find out. Um, <laughs> I hope that he's watching. So, because like he doesn't like have a place that he is mm -hmm. doing it yet, but this could be a push. Like just seeing something yes, like that, yes, you know, yes. get a push. Um, so we kind of spoke about. Oh, one last thing. Sorry to cut you off. Oh, I do have a regular salon floor up front, mm -hmm. which consists of five well, chairs. We are right now. Yes. Yeah. And the five chairs are one fifty a week. So right now, no one is rented in those spaces. Out. Everybody oh, kind of awesome. wants suites. So yeah, it's still open for whomever. So yeah. So if you don't want a suite, but if you just want like a chair, your own chair, that'd mm -hmm. be awesome too. It's so pretty. It's this is the chair here too. Right, right. It is so cute. I love it. I'm just, I just keep looking at the. I'm not even looking at my. This is my. <laughs> I'm just like, do you see this texture wall? <laughs> so that's what I want to get into. So what inspired the name and the colors and just all of that? When I say it was God, he just spoke to me. Because he spoke to me before we actually had to shut down. Okay. Yeah, so let's two get weeks that. before, two weeks before we officially um, found this space, or had to leave, let's say that. Right, the South Chicago Heights <clears throat> place. Before we had to leave, God told me, start looking for a place. I was like, okay, this is my sign. Because mm -hmm. I said the next move I was going to make is when God said it was time. Yeah. So you can so feel it. Glad you can feel that it. I did that. Because when I say every step that we took, it was divine order. That's all that I can say. I can't yeah. even say it was me. He was just like, look, this is what you need to do, how you need to do it, the way you need to do it. And wow. I listened. And we started this project off with zero dollars. Like the project. Didn't have any money to start with, but faith was my my um, Do you guys my currency. Hear that? Let's say that. <laughs> Do you hear that? I was I was um, I was jokingly saying um, I had came and looked through the windows, and I'm like, oh, he done did his PPP. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he got two of them. Yes, but I actually but did. It, I ain't gonna lie, but right. I, I deserved it. As yeah, a, as after, yeah, after all of this, yes, after all <laughs> of this. But it wasn't much. It wasn't much. So, but it did help a little bit. So. Um, let me look at look. I'm not, I'm not even looking at my notes. I'm over here really enjoying <laughs> myself. So I asked you how long have you been open, and then what services do you provide? Did you kind of get into that? You mm -hmm. said braiding. So everything really is listed there. If, oh uh, wow! Yes. Yeah, so so one one of the estheticians that is coming on board, she actually does makeup 
and she focuses more on that and doing facials and that sort of thing. And the other esthetician more so focuses on like uh, vajayshus. Oh is, wow! Which is her thing. You guys, the Yoni did Spa. Hear that? Yoni Spa is um, in the building. <laughs> waxing and all of that sort wow. of thing. So that's what she more so focuses on. So we'll have both of them on board. I love um, that. But some other things that we're looking for are locticians. We do have one of the young ladies that is a braider. She also, also is yeah, a loctician. Yeah, loctician too. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and then we can definitely, when we're done with our live, I like to put like um, footnotes. So like you could put, you know, uh, at Zen and then what you're looking for, boom, boom, okay. boom, boom, and say things like that. Okay. And then when I had mentioned earlier, like sometimes I'll look at our video screen record, like highlights I like. Mm -hmm. um, I like to highlight my favorite part. So, like when you brought up the um, Yoni Spa, like that mm -hmm. might be that might be that's, that's um, my favorite mm -hmm. part. Your lactation, and then I really want to dig back into your mom being the receptionist. So she kind of mm -hmm. took back from being owner to like letting you like now. Yeah. So that kind of transition while we were in the old space. And she was like, I'm tired. I need to retire. <laughs> so I kind of pulled her out of retirement, but I'm going to take care of her and push yeah. her back into retirement. But right now, I need mama. <laughs> yeah, so mama she, has to be she's doing the work. receptionist work. Yes, Eventually, though, when she's tired, will you be looking for a receptionist? Mm -hmm. So that's Absolutely. something, too. But not right now. Not right, right now. Mm -hmm. No, okay. Not, no, not to be end. transparent, I have to recoup some money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's another uh, uh Pocket to. Mm -hmm. to That's a beautiful yeah. thing of business, but it's it's all investment. So look at it like that. So yeah, I'm looking over here looking at my notes, and I'm like laughing at myself. I put I wanted to say I got here a little early. Yes, I got here early. Mm -hmm. Um, I was here at one o'clock. Like, oh wow. Yes, I don't know. I didn't mean to do that. Like, I just want to like be known. But the funny thing is, <laughs> normally I would be here. If I would have been here at that time. But I was actually creating a handbook for the girls, so... Oh, speak about that. What do you mean, handbook? Yeah, so just creating a rule book, um, the thing, like, our mission and that sort of thing. Oh, I love stuff like that. So just, I'm just you know, you only have two days. Yeah. <laughs> out so of working the, throughout the oh, week. Oh, that's another thing. So what are the business hours here so that everybody knows? Oh, right. So our business hours, we are from Tuesday to Saturday. So Tuesday to Saturday. So... Tuesday through Friday are from 8 to 7, and on Saturday is from 8 to 6. And then, if the other young ladies want to be here on Sundays and Mondays, that's, that's up, to her, them. up to them. Okay. But I need time to rest. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was saying. Like, I used today to do the same thing. I was like, um, I got to clean up. I got to, mm -hmm. you know, get things in order. Um, I wanted to make sure that we do not forget the most important thing. Where are you located? Oh, 18360 <laughs> Governor's Highway in Cherry Creek. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the area at all, but we're smack dab in the plaza where um, Subway is. Um, Panera Bread used to be over here. It's no longer here. Pops is right yeah, across the parking yeah. lot. So we're smack dab in the middle of the plaza. So those and then you can find us too um, at www.aplaceofzen.com. So it's just that simple. You can even Google Zen Homewood, we always pop up. Yeah, that's what I did. Because I actually, um, on my way here, I was going to ask you, like, how do I even get there? I never even asked. But when I went onto the business uh, website, I just clicked the uh, address. And I was like, it's just up the street. Yeah. <laughs> I figured. It's just, I mean, because you know where I actually thought it was on Dixie Highway? It's like another little spot. Um, it's like a salon over there. You know where the old family video was? Oh, yeah. I thought you were over there. I don't know oh, why. I, I don't know why I did. part of the boom. <laughs> I was like, I think it's late over there. But I like to do recap. So um I'm at a I am at a place of Zen. I feel super Zen. Do you see this background? Look at this. Let's just take a second and look appreciate. everything has a story. I'm not trying to bore Yes, you. let's everything go into has that. What tell me like what is about um, this? so I just can't stop staring. So this wall I actually designed myself, had some painters tape and oh just went God. to work. And me? I was like, this is exactly how I want it to look. And then Hubby looked at it and still back. It's like, it just need a, a couple of little tweaks. Yeah. So I tweaked it and he was like, it's perfect. I was like, okay, cool. That's what it is. That's what it's going to be. So you, you guys decorated yourself? So I decorated everything myself. From everything. Oh from the floors to, to, I actually created that sign over there that you all would be able to see. Yes, we're definitely, well, when we're done with the interview, I think we should like, just like video a little walkthrough or something. Yeah, that'd be should. super cute. We should. Because everything that. that everything that you 
that you see I had a hand in it for sure wow. except for I can't take credit for that setup that it's like a backdrop that we had um and my friend Jay up and up up and up 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 in a way well I'm I'm saying I'm We're so backwards. zen. We're zen. Up, up, and away. <laughs> um, balloons. She does um, events and that sort of thing. So she actually created oh, that. Oh, the the backdrop over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you and know we're taking a picture did, over there. Too. She always, she also did that little setup over there. Too. I just love it. Like as soon as I walked in here, I was like, oh my gosh! Like it just gives you like you know how you had a long week. Mm -hmm. Once you walk in here, you just know you're gonna um, just feel relieved mm -hmm. I mean whether you're getting your hair done or you're doing a facial it's just this the name is perfect like you you literally walk in and you're like I'm here yes. and now I can relax is um, and then you said you were working on your handbook so what did you ever figure out what your um, mission statement is gonna be so our mission really is to embrace just self aware awareness yeah. and self care, self love. Oh, love yes, I'm off. Like that. that's just the focus. Yeah. Just really pampering our babies because everybody is our baby. Even though you you can be a grown, three hundred pound man, you still our baby. <laughs> <laughs> and that can make them feel but good that, too. Like that, I can that, come that, in. That's our mission. Like that's our goal is to just allow everyone to have that Zen experience. Everyone, did you hear that? So his whole mission, his whole. Um, meaning of this beautiful salon spa mm -hmm. is to feel at home and to have that zen experience mm -hmm. and I, I'm not even getting my hair done right now um, but just the the air in here feels mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. what'd you do? <laughs> you know what? I am not gonna lie so um, I wrote scriptures and stuff on the studs because most of the studs and stuff were pulled back okay. so i wrote scriptures wrote my, wrote my own prayer and stuff you can just feel it like you know yeah. how you go into a room and you feel like a, a tense mm. energy and when you come in here you can you just feels like something's something feels good in here like mm. i don't know what it is that's amazing that's god that's so it's god in here you guys <laughs> <laughs> Take the credit. Uh, <laughs> Even when we found this, when we pulled up, I was like, "This is it." My mom was like, "Are you sure?" I was, was like, really "Absolutely." You. And then she was like, "Let's pray over the door." Wow! Uh, and it, that was history. Was I love, I love that you brought that up because my mom, she's actually watching. She always watches all my lives, and um, she's always throwing Bible scriptures. Like you, I could be mad at her, like, "Oh, I can't stand you right now." Instead of arguing, she'll literally just throw Bible scriptures mm. in the text message. Mm -hmm. And her hearing this, she's gonna be probably the she's gonna probably knock the doors down. <laughs> like I gotta get in there. Right, right. <laughs> Matthew chapter six. Right, right. But it's it's a beautiful thing. It uh, is. So I want to do another recap with you. I want to make sure that we mm -hmm. touch base on every single thing. So you said that you know God spoke to you and helped you find this place. Mm -hmm. Um. During that time, though, was it hard for you to sleep? Because sometimes, you know, you can't sleep. It's like, with me, I think that's God mm -hmm. speaking to me when I when you have, like, restless nights. Is that kind of how he came, approached you, or how, how was it? You know what? He speaks, he does speak to me through my sleep. And, mm -hmm. but it doesn't interrupt my sleep. Okay. It's one of those things, wake up early in the morning, and it's like, Take okay, care boom, it. that's it. Yeah. And then write it down. Yeah. So I I get my sleep. I get all of my sleep. Mine was the opposite. I mean, when I created the podcast, I could not sleep and I was like, Man, what's what's going on with me? But then that's when I created the website. Mm -hmm. I was like, Okay, I guess I don't need to sleep right now, I gotta get things done. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, Okay, I got on Amazon and start ordering backdrops. So that was your nudge. <laughs> yeah, he's like, how he's like you need you. to get up because mm -hmm. if not you can't do nothing during I got the kids and so he's like, You know mm -hmm. you need to come on now. <laughs> yeah. So I guess mine's a little bit different because you don't got no brats <laughs> No, around. we just got fur babies, so you know, we can just put them to the room. All right, go, uh, go on and get... <laughs> It's different. It's a different ball game from kids to fur babies. It's totally different. So what well you know, I did have a dog and um my it, it kind of seemed the same a little bit. Like they they're more work. It, I had to get rid of my I had to give them to it was not it was people used to make fun of me. I was like, This isn't my dog, it's my niece. Um, cause she was my niece. It was my mm -hmm. sister's dog. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I ended up giving her back to her grandma, which was my sister's, um, ex's mom. So then she okay. took him, took her, but she had to get whoopings like the kids. 
Lulu. I was like, come on, Lulu, you about to, you in here too. Come on. Probably was a little dog, you know. The, she the was. They be the belt. They be the ones. They have what kind a, of babies you have. Energy. We have a, a beagle, so he's like a medium size. Aww. Mm -hmm. Okay. A big baby. So we kind of went through. Oh, yeah, we did. We went through. So I said, what services do you provide? Um, you're looking for massage therapists. Mm -hmm. um, we're even looking for um, juicers. Mm -hmm. Do you want? Do you want like a photographer, or a videographer? Like, do you need stuff like that? I actually have one. How does that work? Like, when you what? What do you use the video videographer for? Cause this place so you know beautiful. what I mainly do it for big things and sometimes just creating certain content and stuff like that yeah because you know those kind of things are it, it's critical you just don't want any kind of content just out there yeah so um, for me I'm trying to do it I want to say the right way this time but I just want it to look clean it's it's giving on clean. every on every um, yeah. level yeah just clean. I love that mm -hmm. so how is um Working for you, how's that gonna go? Um, how long have the your your um, stylist been working here? Um, mm -mm. <laughs> so of course I started with myself. So just you and first. the new and our new people. Now one of our ladies, I've known that's my mentor. She's okay. actually one of the braiders. Her name is oh, Vicky. Good. Um, but she's been with me forever, and I've been with her forever. Let's say it like that. And, At the old salon too. Mm -hmm. Well. I was working two salons at one time. Oh, wow. I was working one that was in, in University Park, which was Vicky's salon. Okay. And then I was also working at my mom's that I was converting into a right. hair nail spa. Right, <laughs> right, because you weren't trying to do the nails. Right, right. What, what do you do here, though? You, I know you own you own this. This is amazing. Look, I'm next <laughs> to the owner. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you so own sad. this place, but do you just, um, you know, delicate or are you trying to have your own chair or your own suite? So I, I actually have my own suite that you'll get a chance to see. Um, <laughs> I get a chance to see. <laughs> but, but, um, so I'll do, I do pretty much everything under the sun. Um, but I'm kind of coming out of the braids and shifting into a different direction. And now I'm trying to focus into a different direction on the scalp. So, what do you mean? um, it's, Called trichology. I'm not sure if anyone is familiar with it, but it's the bridge between cosmetology and dermatology. Oh, and it's really analyzing the scalp, seeing what's really going on with people's scalps, yeah, and then creating can, yeah. a holistic approach to take care of that. Oh, so wow. I'm kind of diving into that more so now. Um, well, I'm, I'm, let's say I'm transitioning into that. I'm trying yeah. to manifest that over my life. <laughs> yeah, that is nice though, because like sometimes when you take the braids down, like my scalp, you know, like mm -hmm. kind of analyze that, see what we need to do before I do my next style. Mm -hmm. Because you know how, I mean, as an African American woman, we sometimes don't wear our own hair that much and let mm -hmm. it breathe. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? You think? I, you know what? I think it is okay to an extent. Okay. I think it really boils like, down as soon as to I take who's this doing down, it. I do something else. It, it all depends <laughs> on who's doing it, yeah. doing it, how they're doing it. Like all of those things play a factor, right? Yeah. So, in my opinion, I think it just depends. But I think at a certain point, though, you should get yourself a break from everything and yeah. just let your scalp. That's what my mama live. said. She'll be like, "You should wear your own hair on your birthday." I was like, "On my birthday." Well, maybe not for events, like your, but oh, right. you should. Okay. It's okay. All right, tell her. You, but you should definitely just give it a break. Give it a break. Mm -hmm. And what do you mean start. by giving your scalp a break? Like, what should they do? Like, just um, you know, take your braids down, wash it, and just like wear an afro. No, I think you should go and be pampered. Yeah. Go be pampered. Yeah, be like do pampered. a nice like silk Allow press. Them, but not necessarily a silk press, but doing different scalp treatments oh. and all that sort of thing. I like so, that. The focus right now for me would be to see what those things are, right? Because I don't really know what those things are, just, just being transparent. Yeah, yeah, but that's where I want to transition into. So then I can be like, okay, da 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 da. Because uh -huh. my clients know I teach all of them, okay? Yes, and I know a lot of them are properly watching. Yeah, but um, I, love that. I like to inform them. I like to educate them. I, I like to um, help them when it comes to the internal because. A lot of times it's just the internal we may be missing something um like a lot of times we buy us live in midwest it gets very dry e. in the winter yeah mm -hmm. 
So I don't want to bore you all with that, but <laughs> right, let's right. We, we don't want to do we that. Can, we can talk about that on and on and on again, but yeah. yeah that's, so that's basically, we he's gonna be focusing on um, the scalp care, and that's gonna be amazing too. Because once you do, you know, get dig into that, your your other stylists, like when their when their clients are in between a style, they can come see you. Mm -hmm. So it's like an all around, you know, mm -hmm. revolving circle here. You have your braiders, then you have your. Uh, scalp care specialist. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have you know your facials going on, makeup. So not just makeup, but taking care of the skin. Mm -hmm. I love that. And then you have the massage. Let's say you don't need to get your hair done. Just want your, just want that zen. We'll have the massage therapist mm -hmm. that you need to get. We got. We're mm -hmm. still looking for that. Manifesting. Um, and then <laughs> we're looking for um, nail tech. So those of you guys watching, make sure that you, you know, go at um, your website, mm -hmm. and that's how they. That's how they. Apply. Mm hmm You can apply there. You can book appointments there. Uh, the new ladies aren't on there just yet, but well, myself, your stylists aren't I, there but yet. I am. So I still do color and stuff like that. Okay. I do sew-ins. You know everything that you can. Imagine yeah, that you're looking for. That you need. I service that. I just don't service new clients when it comes to braids. Okay, and that's that because sense. you want to um, make sure that they're not just like us. One stop and go? Is that why? No. I've learned for myself, especially doing braids as long as I, I've been in the game almost 10 No, this will be 10 years, so yep. I have to do a 10 year celebration this yes. year. Yes. Um, but I've been doing that for nine years. So it's one of those things when you when you get into braids, to me, it can metastasize and take over your entire business. So it's like if you want to start off in braids yeah. and want to continue to do braids, start off like that. Right. If that's not something you really want to do, you kind of don't want it. Because it's hard for people to find the braiders. And yes, it when is. When they sit in my chair, I'm not to be uh, braggadocious. I'm going to make my own word up. I don't know, I'm not sure if that's the real word. I like but it. But people, like, it was very people <laughs> I can't get, I, I, I can't push them. They're like, I gotta come to you. I can't go to anybody else. Yeah, that's and how I, I get am. it though. That's I get how, it. That's how I am too. I get it. I'm glad that I'm interviewing you because my girl um, who does my braids, she is only 21. That's my baby. <laughs> um, it was my co-star, uh, Shada B. It's her little sister. Oh, nice. And she's actually going back to school. If you are watching this live, baby, she's going back to school. And and I don't know, she might be busy. You know, we're homework and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I like to keep braids. Um, I'll do a sewing. I'll do that for maybe like two months or something. Like maybe three times a year. But for the main most part I really like braids so <laughs> don't consider me a new client you know what I'm look please <laughs> look she can get the same treatment like everybody else <laughs> You're like don't even start but I, could, but I can refer you to somebody that's amazing okay <laughs> that'll take care of you seriously I love seriously. that um so um I didn't even look and see how long we were we've been chatting but basically, I mean, it's four, four o'clock now that we started a little bit after three. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure that we spoke on everything we need to speak on. Um, we kind of did and we kind of didn't. Yeah, because, so what are some um, things some that we did Some other things that I would love to do in the future would be like live music here. Oh. So if you know some bands or anybody that's interested in doing that. So a whole that. vibe. Mm -hmm. And when you think about vibe music, is that going to be like a, a Tuesday through Saturday thing or just like on your every friday night or... i think it's probably going to be maybe either once or twice out the the month out the month you know um i'm not sure exactly yet but, but i need to, speaking to you. but i need to go ahead and write that out yeah because that writing is also speaking into existence. it does you have to write down those ideas and mm -hmm. i really like that because i was thinking that when i walked in i'm like it's everything is nice except um i could see i could see that you know what else i can see yeah. like um Maybe like over here, like when you come in, some kind of like water fountain. Nothing, nothing huge. Right. But just some kind of water. Oh, it's it's all in, all up here. Okay. Because <laughs> we just that's a part of my list. Because we just opened up, so you've been here mm -hmm. at this location for how long? Just since January 18th. So of this year. This is literally a newborn baby we're yeah, here, and look, yeah. and it's already looking so amazing. So I can only imagine January next year. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. And then like karaoke nights. That's cute. Sipping paint nights. Awesome. Really bringing it in an experience. I love, it. I love that. Where you, whatever you see to be uh, something that's zen or relaxing or anything like that, that's what we're going to offer. Even yoga classes would be nice. That would be nice. Especially so, um, in that back area. Mm -hmm. Like um, when you're not doing the, the shampoo bowl. Mm -hmm. Do they move? They don't. 
That is still, those are the still, only it's still that enough. Don't. It's still enough space. It's like a circle. Mm -hmm. I feel like that'd be the best area. Or it I mean, or would. even, or even just right here too. Like when you're not doing the salon, mm -hmm. right here is perfect too. Mm -hmm. Are you looking? So like, so we already spoke on. You're looking for an esthetician. Mm -hmm. You're looking for a nail tag. You're looking for a massage therapist. But then eventually, you might be looking for a yoga instructor. Mm -hmm. I love that. We're gonna yeah. have to put those in the uh, yep, in, the in our footnotes too, when we're all done. Um, I wanted. To, I always forget to ask. Well, I don't forget to ask. I almost forgot to ask you. What is your zodiac sign? I'm That's my thing. Caps. So everything you say, you're gonna really do. That's what my mom is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. When it's is your crazy. birthday? January. Is it January or December? January fifteenth. Oh wow. His so hers is all January the eleventh. <laughs> oh wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So. I have Tay with me. He is the owner of A Place of Zen. Mm -hmm. We spoke on how long he's been in the hair industry. It's going to be the 10th year this year. Do you know a month? I do not. I know mine. I want to say it's, it's, I want to say it's like June. <laughs> oh, really? In the summer? Yeah. What was, your first, uh, what was your first uh, salon? Was it the, your mom's? So both. I was working uh, in University Park and I also was working at my mom's. And what did you do at your mom's? Uh, everything. So... Uh, natural hairstyles, um, relaxes. Although I'm not a huge fan of relaxes, yeah. but I'm unless you have color. like a pixie cut, that's still. I think like if you have a pixie cut, a relaxer is okay. What do you think about it though? I think it is to an extent. Um, I'm gonna just say no comment. Yeah. Because uh, pixies are something that I'm actually trying to brush up on again. Oh, okay. And because I feel like that's the direction that's gonna. Head kind back, yeah. People, too. people like if you, you like you see a lot of braids, or you'll see a lot mm -hmm. of them with pixie cuts. I used to do a pixie cut. I really liked it, but my aunts made fun of me and said that I looked like I was fifty. I'm gonna oh, show you Lord. pictures. It was really cute. I thought it was. I thought it was really cute. You, I'm gonna ask you when I show you the pictures off my phone. You could be honest and tell me. Mm -hmm. But I thought it was super cute because I kind of want to do it again. Um, I, don't know, I thought it was cute. Yeah. So, they hate that. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so it is, uh, what are we, we've been talking, we're talking for about an hour. I think that's all right. I want to ask you though, what do you want to be remembered by? So that's a, a, a question I love to ask or um, what inspires you to keep going? You know, I want people to remember, remember me as a person that just cares. I just I truly me. care. I just care about what people think, how people feel, and then if it's something that I can do to allow them to feel better, I can do, I do that. Just carrying hands. Now the thing is too, I um you know I'm a Capricorn, so sometimes if you tell us stuff, you know we can be a little <laughs> feisty, but you got to kind of look past that and still I'm, I'm listening. I'm a listening ear, so I mean I hear you at the moment, mm -hmm. but I heard what you said, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna come back to you. And oh, I address. know my mother is a cap. <laughs> And then she'll be like, I never did that. I'm like, Ma, you were very mean to me. I, you're sick. <laughs> I never. I think you remember my mom. She worked at the school. Super know. sweet voice, but she's really not sweet. <laughs> oh, Lord. Leave your mama alone. Look, I got, you, I got your back. She's going to leave you alone. <laughs> no, I love my mom. She always watches all my lives. She's very supportive. So I know you're a very supportive person. So mm -hmm. if you're going to be here, if you guys are looking to work, um, at a place of Zen, just know that your boss is he doesn't seem like the, the typical boss. Mm -hmm. You seem like you're more of like um you're a leader but you're like a team working. That's the vibe I, think I that's get from the best you. way we work. We yeah. work we work so much better as a team than separate. And you definitely even brought this up when you said that you want to start focusing on the on the on the scalp care. Mm -hmm. So that actually kinda of helps your stylist without even realizing they'll be like, mm -hmm. you know, your clients will be like, oh, okay, well, I'm not getting my braids right now. I'm taking my braids down. Instead of them just being gone with the wind, they can still stay here, mm -hmm. take care of that scalp. Mm -hmm. Once they let it breathe for a little bit, go back to their braider. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. it's, it's keeping that, it's, it's not going to be like a revolving door of stylists. Like you could just see that yeah, foundation. I don't, I don't see built. that and I don't feel that. Yeah. I really don't. It's and like I see people you. growing and being better and then yeah. creating their own spaces, which that's what I want yeah. for everybody. Yeah, like the but, you know, that's stepping stone wanting. or be your home. Yep. Exactly. Yep. yep. So is there any questions from me, darling? Are you happy? Okay. <laughs> I am happy. I am happy. And question for you. I'm so nervous. <laughs> when are you going to get that LLC? Ah, you watched the live? You yes. watched the live? Yes. You guys, you watched my live? Um, I actually need to work. I was I was um working on that last night, but then I kind of like watched Jocelyn's Cabaret. 
You got to multitask. That, that's the name of the game of business. You have to multitask. I think I'm going to work on it today because I'm off tomorrow. I have I did all my line and just get all that stuff done. Out. And that's something else that I'm thinking about doing too. Having, you know, having just uh, different classes or courses on oh, really? a uh, monthly basis. Oh, I was going to ask you like uh, re to renew your license. Yeah, for renewing licenses, but also for businesses, for people that want to start businesses okay. or whatever. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be the same cut and dry thing. Right. But we do want to have that available. So you want to offer classes for um, entrepreneurs mm -hmm. who are, uh, so like what kind of, what kind of businesses? Just so Any like, business. So like, okay, I want to know how to start up a business. So yeah. what do I need to do to get the credentials together? What do I need to do? to get my business credit? What do I need to do to do? Like all of those things that I feel like more people need to talk about. Yeah. I want to have somebody in place to do that, have somebody in place for taxes, have somebody in place for just all yeah, of the different things. Yeah, I love things that. that. When do you do. think that's going to be something you want to execute? Because I am interested because Nick, because I was thinking to myself, I was like, oh, I could have claimed, you know, all this stuff I did last year on my taxes, but I didn't have the LLC. Mm-hmm. So when is that something you can And see, do? a tax person will be a person. A part, and my mom is actually a tax person, oh, wow. which is my husband's mom. Okay. Um, which I'll give you her information because you should talk to her for okay. those advices. That's yeah. out of my that's out of my scope. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But um, you should talk. You should talk to somebody that like that isn't that's their lane. That's their their yeah. thing. Um, but I do plan on doing this pretty soon. So I'm trying to right now focus on filling up the spaces. So yep. then those things are taken yep. care of. So then I can take it off my plate. And work yeah. On the next Cause you did, you mentioned a lot of things. We're talking mm -hmm. yoga, yoga instructor eventually, you know, makeup artists. Um, mm -hmm. Man, you said a lot. Uh, <laughs> estheticians, mm -hmm. we're looking for even a juicer. If you guys, you know, are into that, he's looking for something like not even every day. Maybe just be here, you know, once or twice a week or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, but you guys, I'm so excited to be here. I I really enjoyed this with I you. Do too. Thank but you. I want to get to our pictures. Okay. I want to take pictures okay. with Tay, you guys. I'm gonna post all the pictures. Uh, we might do a cute little snippet, like a okay. little tour, if you want. Mm -hmm. But um, this is your show. Uh, Whatever, whatever I need to do, I'm I here. gotta get used to that. So I'll be like, no, it's not. I you mean, know what? I'm, you I'm, right I'm now. trying to get used to that too. They're like, whoa. Yeah. Can you believe? I'm like, yeah, it you, hasn't you settled. I'm you, like, it hasn't settled in. You it's just definitely. Like, I mean, you, I'm glad that you brought that up because when I came in, you guys, I went to, you know, use the washroom first. In the, just the shampoo area alone, I twirled. <laughs> yes. I, I said, ah! <laughs> Yes, you did. And he was like, mm hmm, mm hmm, just so humble. And you know what, though? I love that about you because can you imagine, like, with just your spirit and your mm -hmm. humbleness and your soul and things like that? This is amazing here, but just could you imagine, like, eventually, like, num numerous of places in. Mm -hmm. You have a Chicago location, we have a Dallas location. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine that? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's happening. Yeah, it's you happening. You know, like stuff like that. It's like, happening. I'm here and I'm watching and I'm waiting and I'm here to support. Cause you can I'm here to support, support too. Because we have you. to do. I can look, feel that. Look, we, <laughs> have to, we have to work together, y'all. We have to. Yeah, just like you said, like you're looking for your entrepreneurs um, to be here, like the juicing, not mm -hmm. just hair. Mm -hmm. This is a this is a stepping stone, a platform. If you're looking, this is the place to be. Yeah. I might say too much without drink. But I'll be like, let me be quiet. My boss, my boss is gonna be like, I knew it. She's leaving. It was getting to that. Look, look, look. look, I have nothing to do with anything, okay? I'm just being me, okay? She saw your face. She was like, you better not. <laughs> but no, it just shows that it's it's just a beautiful place. It's a Thank professional you. place. Thank and you. I just want to congratulate you. Thank you. And I'm Congratulations so Congratulations to you too. I didn't do anything yet. <laughs> no, you you started. Thank you. Which is the thing a lot of us don't do is start. Yeah, just do it. As long as you start and you just keep taking it one day at a time, who's who's to say? Yeah. And look at this. The sky is endless. Look at this. That's what's already, I saw, that's the vibe I got. I keep looking at this. And you literally said all it was was just take. Mm -hmm. This was like, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. And that right there is amazing. I can't wait to take pictures at every little uh, spot that I, I think we should take pictures by the, 
by that part since you said you're looking for people to fill up those chairs. Oh, yes, yes. We should do some yes. cute ideas. <laughs> but um, if that was everything that you wanted to say. I think it is. I think that was what everything I wanted to say. If you guys enjoyed the interview, um, you can book with me at margaritaswithmargaret.com. That's my website. Right. If you are looking to book a hair appointment or any kind of zen appointment, we can book at... A at place, a place of zen.com. At a place of zen.com. And if mm -hmm. you are looking for employment, go on that same website as well. Mm -hmm. And then um, when we hit our end buttons on our lives, we're going to definitely put what all Tay is looking for mm -hmm. in employment. Um, what else do we need to put on there? Um, hiring. I think hiring. Come with that. Yeah. Um, I mean, anyone can. Uh, Send me an email. Yeah, if you maybe have, I will like, put your email you have address. That's interested. So Tay T A E E. Yes. At a place of zen dot com. Yeah, and then um, your Instagram. And then my IG is Tay Roseman, just like that. T A E E Rose R O S E M A N. Mm -hmm. And um, your business. And then Facebook. the business Facebook is a place of zen, but it's an underscore in the beginning of a place of zen. All right, so. Just you guys can email him. You can go on his website. You can email me as well, margaritaswithmargaret.com. My Instagram is margarita underscore margaret underscore 2021. I created that obviously in 2021. I wish I would have made it shorter. That's a beautiful, mm -hmm, that's a like beautiful timestamp because it's going to be something that's nostalgic down the line. Yeah, because I was like, I should change it. Mm -hmm. but Don't change it. It just Keep it. shows when I, you know, created it. So. Mm -hmm. Keep it. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Tay, thank you so much for having me thank here. You. I'm going to hug him again you. because look, isn't he so just <laughs> awesome? Look at that. And he smells like Zen. Yeah. Oh, look. <laughs> Hey, man. Look, I tried. <laughs> All right, guys. We will see you next time. Um, it's actually going to be my birthday next time. Yeah. I don't have any more interviews as of right now, but um, I'm probably going to Facebook Live and do my birthday, um, some birthday events, things like that. And then hopefully we'll see what happens in April. Nice. Just keep, just keep going. And we'll see what happens in April for you at going. A Place of Zen. Yes. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Stay All right. Stay and on that note, we will see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. See y'all. <laughs>